Hey guys, I'm here with a, another update. Um, got the next five records to talk about. Really excited about these five in particular. They're all excellent records in my opinion. Um, so to start us off, we have Warpaint. Um, this is a band that I only heard about because it was playing in the background of, of a friend's Snapchat. And I actually asked, like, who's playing? And it was Warpaint. Um, I believe the song that I heard was um, called Hi, H-I. Um, and yeah, I checked out the rest of the record. It was really good. So good that I bought the record like immediately after. Um, <laughs> so if you haven't heard Warpaint, check them out. Kind of reminds me of like a less electronic Fantagram because it kind of sounds like Fantagram, but uh, not with electronic influence more like actual instrumentation in there um, so if you like Fantagram check out Warpaint it's an awesome band this is a 2LP gatefold as I showed you gatefold with a bunch of pictures from the studio I'm assuming and the sleeves are uh, printed so I'm assuming that these are members of the band um, with the lyrics on there also and this is on um, red vinyl And then I'll show you guys the other sleeve. And uh, also red. But this one actually has a screen printed D side. You can see the kind of cross hatches in a triangle formation. Um, but yeah, it's a really awesome record. Uh, I got really into it. I have yet to go back and check out their other uh, work. My favorite track off of this is probably, mm, that's a hard one, um, probably Still High or uh, Keep It Healthy. The intro of Keep It Healthy is a really good one. Next record I got is uh, Nothing is the band, the album's called Guilty of Everything. And this is the reverse flag cover, the regular edition, the flag is facing that way, the words are over here, and then if you can kind of see Nothing is on the top there it's written backwards um, excellent records came out back in 2014 and I just barely heard it a few weeks ago um, from the time of me recording this video so back in late April is actually when I uh, listened to it but it's just it's it's an incredible record an incredible group um, they just put out their newest record uh, last week at the time I'm recording this. Um, so to having heard this one maybe two weeks before the release of their new record and then getting their new record, it was kind of a, I was glad to have all this music by them. They're a great band. Um, this is, like I said, the Reverse Flag Edition, which comes on black inside of the Milky Clear with uh, pink sweater. It looks kind of red, but it is pink. Really gorgeous looking record. Um, but yeah, if you're into shoegaze or anything like that, I mean, if you're into shoegaze and you haven't heard these guys, I'd be surprised. Uh, lyrics insert on some pictures. Uh, just a really incredible band. Uh, my favorite songs on here are um, Endlessly and B&E and Bent Nell. Check out those three songs. They're pretty awesome. Check out this whole record, it's, it's a masterpiece, I, I love it. Next one is a high school throwback for me, Parkway Drive Horizons. Um, Parkway Drive has pressed all of their records, except for Don't Close Your Eyes, which is their debut, and this one, which they just barely pressed for Record Store Day. Um, this is my second favorite record by them, my favorite is Killing With A Smile, and now this one. Um, I don't own any of their other records on vinyl just because they're not as good as these two, so I haven't prioritized them. Um, I mean, it's all still good stuff. But this was a Record Store Day exclusive for uh, the UK, and um, I was pretty bummed out when it wasn't available to us. Um, and so, obviously, it was really expensive to get my hands on it. Um, and so they had uh, eventually, uh, what's it called, FTAF their King's Road merch, the Europe store, um, was selling it. So I got it shipped all the way from there 
um, and it's not on the same as the record store day. This one's on blue with yellow splatter. The record store day exclusive was yellow with blue splatter. It looked much cooler, but um, honestly, I'm just happy to to own this record. Uh, it's, it's a really awesome record. Really heavy stuff. I am uh, convinced that the song Dead Man's Chest is Parkway Drive's best song. It's just a hell of a song, heavy as hell. Um, there's so many breakdowns in that one song, it's incredible. Check out Parkway Drive if you haven't. Check out Dead Man's Chest. Check out Horizons. Check out Killing with a Smile, their other album. It's all good stuff. Next up we have Dance Gavin Dance. This is the Tree City, se Tree City Sessions. Kind of a tongue twister. Um, and basically what this is is a collection of Dance Gavin Dance um, songs throughout their whole like nine album, eight album discography um, with the three different singers because they've switched out, uh, they've had three different vocalists at different times. Um, and basically the newest vocalist covers all those tracks that are on here. It was recorded in the studio live, so um, it's not live at a concert, it's live in studio. Still live, but the sound quality is much better. Um, and they cover songs off of every record in here. Uh, there's stuff from uh, Johnny Craig's era, there's stuff from uh, Kurt Travis, and of course there's even a couple from the newer two records that already have Tilly and Pearson in. So uh, it's it's a really good combination. I don't think it tackles all my favorite Dance Gavin Dance songs, but it does a pretty good um, job of hitting the important ones. And this comes on a kind of like translucent yellow, almost like a beery kind of color uh, with half red. Um, there are a couple different variants out there. And uh, yeah, they have the insert here. It's two LP, but both LPs look the same. And on the back of the insert, um, it has the tracks, and on each track it tells you what record it appears on, um, who was in the band at the time of that recording. So if you can't remember what who was the original singer. Um, it's all written here. Um, you got a little bit of everything. My favorite uh, song that they did is Lemon Meringue Thai. I'm not even sure if I'm Meringue Thai? Meringue Thai? I don't know. Um, but that one was one of my favorites from um, Downtown Battle Mountain. And I think they did a good job. I think it's really a, a sign of the band saying that they're really gonna, gonna solidify with what they have with Tillian right now. Um, which I think is good. I think he's a great fit for the band. I like his stuff in Tides of Man a lot better, but um, Dance Gavin Dance is, is getting a lot with him. Um, and so I think this, this release is, is kind of more of a statement that they're kind of... Um, this is what they are now, so... Um, the new songs, the old songs, with the new singers sound great. They are a little different, but I think it's, it's ultimately better. Check out Tree City Sessions if you're a Dance Gavin Dance fan. Old or new. Um, it's good stuff. The last record I'm going to talk about came in the mail. I pre-ordered this. It's Pierce Lavelle, Misadventures. Um, I think Pierce Lavelle gets a bad rap just because its fan base is like has a large amount of young girls. But I mean, they're they're a pretty solid band. I mean, part of me would be kind of, I guess, not really ashamed, but like I don't really know how to explain it. But no, it's it's excellent band this record doesn't disappoint it's not um, it's not anything crazy it's um we got the insert it's kind of what you'd come to expect from Pierce the Bell. Um, they don't do anything too drastically different though there are um, these heavy like actually really heavy breakdowns in a couple songs uh, particularly the opening song dive in um, it's your usual Pierce the Bell song, and then at the end of the song, just is actually kind of it's a really simple but heavy breakdown, and um, I wasn't expecting it, and it, it sounds good. Um, so it's not by any means a bad record. I think they might have played a little safe on this one, um, but yeah, check it out if you haven't. It's a good record. The cover actually is kind of um, I don't know what the word is for it. It's it's raised. It's pumpy. Um, so that's kind of cool. Alright guys, well, thanks for watching. Um, I am all cut up with my records, so... 
hopefully by the time I post this, because I've been posting them weekly, but I record them all really early. Uh, right now it's it's uh, May 20th. I'll probably be posting this in July. So, um, yeah, if I don't have the next five by that time, I will be recording some other kind of video. Um, still some record talk or something. Um, not sure yet, but I'm going to keep the videos coming every Monday, so um, stick around. Thanks for watching.